Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome back to more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. So, last video we finished up what was left of a uh, Hamlin. Got the help of an Our Great Sage. And now we need to go to the King of the Sky Pirates. But first, we're back in the Temple of Trials because uh, Solomon over here has some sort of like Coliseum thing going on. And we're going to check it out. And actually, it looks like there's a lot more people here. The person we wanted to talk to was you, Solomon. <clears throat> Welcome back, you lot. Well, what do you think? Things are pretty lively around here these days, aren't they? That's because I'm holding the most amazing contest in the universe, the Solosseum series. Familiar keepers have come from all over the world to pit their best be beasties against each other. It's the hottest ticket on four continents. Speak to Umbapa for all the boring details. <clears throat> Hope you won't stone bear souls too badly. Well, I mean, our... Familiars are pretty strong. Some of them are newly transformed, like with a uh, Go Go, Gemma, and Sid. Uh, we still haven't done Skinny, Ray, Mighty. A Mighty can, but I want to get Slice and Dice first before we transform him. We still haven't done Gunfer or Scully yet. Okay, so give us detail. Kim Ubapa has been waiting. Ubapa is tired of waiting. But now it is time. It is time for the Solemn Seam series. Here only the strongest familiars fight. The rules are simple, Umbapo will explain. Fight familiars if you win, fight some more, then fight some more, understand? So let's assume series is 6 ranks, E through S. Understand? Good. <clears throat> With any rank to get prizes and money. Do you hear the great big lump? Money? Prizes? Is anyone else starting to get fired up about this? I guess it does sound pretty exciting. But not forget you cannot use items in Solace Team Series, so it's time to begin. Oh, we can't use items. Okay, that's a game changer. Let's give it our best shot. <clears throat> you let's start with E. If you injure and Bapa will heal you. Fight with all your might. Let's see how well we do. <clears throat> Hello, the Dell Dwellers. Oh, okay, I guess dwellers of Ding Dong Dell. Looks like we'll be your first part. Don't underestimate us just because we're small. Well, what kind of familiar do you have? A ruffian, one to owls, and a flower looking thing. Uh, let's start with Mighty just so we can see how much damage we do against them. Okay, that's decent. Ear Splitter right off the bat, seriously. Dang, it, he did heavy damage. Okay, okay. Oh, that did not do as much as I was hoping. Okay, bring out. Griffles. There we go. Now that's much better damage. Come on, Ruffles almost dead. Okay, now let's take out uh Bud Bud. I don't want the healer to stay up. No, not the not the bird. The freaking plant thing. There we go. Come on, almost dead. There we go. Griffles for the win. We've won. Griffles is still our like main attacker because he's our biggest damage user. Did we get any XP for that or? <clears throat> he didn't have to take us so seriously. We're only little, you know. Screw you too. <laughs> Next to the battle against us. Top banana or uh, babana, my bad. The babana bunch. We're the babana merchants of Alma Moon. We fight so that the world may know the delight of all things babana. Okay. Does our team already heal or is it still the same amount of... Oh, that's kind of tricky. These guys are heavy damage users and pretty decent for their defense. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Our, uh... Let me save up my, uh... Oh, shit. This is why I wanted to save my, uh, magic. I want to save my magic specifically to heal our teammates and such. Oh, Ray just took one of them down. Let's go with Mighty. He doesn't do much damage, but he can be helpful with his defense. Well, he does decent damage. 25 and such. That's not too bad. And his defense is still one of the highest we have. There we go. Ow. Okay, gotta heal ourselves. Yeah, saving most of our MP just for healing ourselves. Actually, I should probably save that in a 
in uh, this. Keep us healthy? You know what? Just do what you like. It's been working out anyway. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, now we just got one more round. Good job. Neato indeed. You win. A wonderful performance. Would you perhaps be interested in doing some promotional work for my Babana stall? Sure. Uh, it seems we are to be your next opponent. They say the price on offer is of low consequence to us. The Guildbergs? Okay, we know the guy in the middle because he keeps on losing his diary everywhere and we don't know who the other two are. But we should nevertheless accept it. Should we win? We did not amass our fortune by looking give horse in the mouth after all. <laughs> okay, Mr. Richie Rich over here. Damn, hold on. I don't even recognize two of these. Okay, I know the dangler fish. I don't know what the hell a dinosauros Soros is or an in infant. I don't know if these two familiars. Those two are new to us. Let's play it safe. Let's bring out Griffles. Start the Dangler Fish, because that's the one we know. Paint some things off the bat. Oh, well, didn't do too much. Yeah. That's first getting hurt. There we go. Go Go is doing such little damage. Ah, oh, switch it to Ray. Good choice. You know what? Let's, let's do a Psycho. There we go. And now we have you, a Dinosaurus. Dang, you do high damage, Ferdy. There we go. And that's E rank done. Rank E cleared. <laughs> Impressive. How about you come and work for me as my bodyguard? As my bodyguards. I'll double and I'll triple your current salary. Deal. <laughs> That's a done deal, my friend. You've won rank E. Well done. Here's your prize. Dragon Tusk. Is that a weapon or... It's a weapon. Uh, is it? No. Is it a claw? It's a claw weapon. Dang, it does 45. Boom. Okay, Griffle, Griffles here can now do over 227 attack. Yeah, he's our highest. Because our second highest is... Yeah, Skinny, 170. Well, except for some of our magic users, once they level up a bit more. Okay, I think that's it for... I mean, there's still more ranks we could do, but I just wanted to at least check it out. I'll probably do those on my off time, but for now, we need to go try and find a Sky Pirate, so let's go. I see an entire skull up there. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Also, looks like I have a bounty over here. Well, let me go over to the bounty first. So that'll help us out just a little bit. And I think that's the only bounty I haven't taken down yet that hasn't been newly added. I see a few bighorns and those... Okay, so these must be like the uh, other forms of the bighorns. What the hell that thing is. And a few others. Yeah, because I even see the cat things. Okay, so yeah, these like their forms. I see a giant turtle. Up and right into the bird. Well, time to take down the bird. Major fire ride. Soldier Bumbler. Okay, let's start off with... Let's try the new move we just got for Griffles. Snowstorm. There's a lot of MP, but we'll try it out. Damn, that's not bad at all. Use up a lot of MP. Oh, you know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and tame you. Bada boom! Got ourselves a soldier bumbler. 
Yeah, okay, now time to use Ray, and... Uh, you don't have enough for Ill Wind. Never mind, then. Bring out Skinny. Or never mind, just, you know... Let's do Serenade instead, because I'm taming another familiar. <laughs> taming two familiars, one fight. Okay. Well, bada boom, just got to tell two more familiars. Gemma leveled up, so did Go Go and Sid. Yeah, keep the bumbler. Just bumble. Feathers. Yeah, welcome to the team. Okay, let's heal up our team a bit here. I only have one sandwich? Wow, okay, I might need to restock on a few things. Wow. Uh, we'll make sure to do that when we get to the stores. I guess for now, it might be better just use our magic. Do I have any coffees to at least give Esper? Ah, uh, that gives 10 MP. Okay, well, let's go over and talk to the turtle. Shell Razor. Nice pun. Instead of Hell Razor, Shell Razor. Okay, I'm guessing his defense is going to be extremely high because it's a turtle. So let's try and see how much damage we can do with you. Starting with Psycho. Okay, 88. Not bad, not bad at all. Anyone else is doing kind of on the lower damage side? Ah, but now we're down to 50 or so. Okay, not bad. Let me try World Gig. Let's see how much this does. 45. Uh, should I try Snowstorm? I don't think that would really work against a turtle. Fire, maybe, but... I haven't gotten fire magic yet. Besides Oliver's. Actually, that might be a good thing to try out. Uh, Fireball. Eh, nah, not really. Okay, let's just use Griffles then try and take down his defense. Come on. It's almost down. There we go. Down goes Turtle. He didn't really attack that much, though. He just spent most of the time inside his shell. And bottom, that's another bounty completed. Uh oh, <laughs> they're both after me. Out the way. Okay, wow, there's a lot of them. Okay, I went ahead and just to feed them just so we can get done with them. Bumbler, honey! I'll take that. Yep, yep, yep. They're level 13. Good, good, good. Now, let us go up the actual mountain. Because obviously need to go to Skull, and it looks like we still have a Bumbler and one Owls over here. <sighs> can I just get to the mountain? Okay, those guys are dead too now. Oh, so level 33. That's good. Now, please, let us just go up the mountain. Ah, oh, we still have an Owl. Maybe we'll turn around. Or he'll come right towards us. For fuck's sake. Why is that my luck? We did it! Okay, now the bird's dead too. Let us just go up the mountain, please. I'm glad that they're leveling up. I just want to get up to the mountain. There we go. Now, nah, single familiar in sight. Go straight for the mountain. To Skull Island. Literally, it's Skull Island. Okay. Oh, what the hell is that? I'm guessing a boat. I mean, they are sky pirates, so I'm guessing they're boat. Oh, well, look, everyone, it's enormous in here. And, my goodness, what is a mon? It's... a oh, damn, it's a warship. Neato, it's a huge ship, you think? Looks like the, uh, uh, the freaking thing from Marvel, uh, helicarrier? Yeah. A ship? Oh, well, it is, it's a pretty flippin' weird one. I mean, it's made out of metal for a start, it hasn't even got a sail. No, it hasn't. So how does it move? It uses engines, of course. Hang on, you lot don't know what it is, do you? It's a flying ship. They call them airships. Yep. This is an airship? Then does that mean... Yep, I reckon it does. We found a King of the Sky Pirates hideout. Oh yeah, that's a straight up... That's an airship. It reminds me of like, the ones from the Fall Fantasy series. Like the one you'd get in uh, um, Fall Fantasy IX. Brilliant, so Kublai must be somewhere aboard. Hang on a second, this is Sky Pirates hideout, we're all flipping Sky Pirates. Where's all the flipping Sky Pirates? We best be careful, you lot. Gee, I wonder how it flies. Do you think he'll let us ride it? Oliver, there's no time to be daydreaming about flying ships. Oh, sorry, you're right. We need to find a map of stones, huh? Blimey, you're such a kid. Sorry, what happened again? Well, to be fair, he's a kid. Let him have some fun. I'm only kidding. I know you're just how you feel, but let's call him the stones for now, shall we? Sure, Swain. Let's sneak aboard and see what we can find. 
Well, first, let's do this so we get our MP and save real quick. Always do oldest first. And let's go and deposit the two familiars we just got. Yeah, the bumble and feathers over here. And now, let's wait, hold on. There's a little area over here to the right. Loot? No, there's nothing here. But by the fact the camera just panned like that, means there's gonna be something here at one point. Hmm. Suspicious. And we'll find out soon. But first, onto the ship. Wow, it's so big. It's hard to believe something so huge can actually fly. Oh, you lot. Don't you think we're getting a bit too close to a bit too easily? This is what usually happens before. Avast, who goes there? Let me guess, boss fight? A flippin' ambush? Oh no. So you filthy thieves are here to plunder our plunder? Eh, I take a look at a mirror for calling someone a filthy thief, my friend. Don't make them angry, Swain. They're bloodthirsty sky pirates. If you knew that, girl, why'd you risk your pretty neck trying to sneak aboard? You're either mighty brave or mighty stupid. You can be both. You can be both. Uh, we're flipping trapped. Trapped, I tell ya. Ah, uh, here's the captain. What the hell's on his head? <laughs> okay, it's hard to take him seriously with the freaking snake head he has on his head. <laughs> That's Kublai. That's him, is it? Crack the liquid face on there. It is gruesome. Not really, I mean... It's hard to take him seriously with the freaking snake head he has. We come here to speak to you. That's right, I have a favor to ask, Captain Kublai, sir. Grrrr! You stroll on the vine to my mouth to stronghold, hoping to be granted a favor. Yeah, it's hard to take him seriously with a freaking snake thing on his head. <laughs> what are you? Would be heroes come to take back your plundered treasures? Gra? Mm hmm. By the skies. Ball, here you out. Come aboard. You're gonna try and steal our wand. I try it, I dare you. Hmm, that's quite a tale, lad. Uh, it is true that I plundered that map, and I'd do it again. Fatly delivered fop, uh, fop of a, a fop of a. Uh, Fab of a prince had it coming to him. Hey, don't talk about uh, Marcuson like that. Not now, Esfer. We need those magic stones. Yes, we do. We need them to help us defeat Shadar. By the sky, Shadar? You mean to cross sword to the Dark Djinn? That yeah, we do. We got some before he breaks the hearts of anyone in our world, ain't it? Yeah, yours included. <laughs> you come blow my ship and dare to compare me to sniping riches who fall play to Shadar. Let him try and break me. I'll show you scurvy dog what it means to face a true adversary. You're going to fail immensely. I'll say this for him. He's not lacking for confidence. Shadar ain't to be sniffed at. There's none knows that better than I, fairy. So if you're looking to take on Shadar, you'll be possessed of a skill to do so, I take it? I, of course you are. So this will be child's play for heroes to yourselves. What will? Don't fret, lad. Just a little test of your swashbuckling skills. On a day's work for a battle-hearted warrior such as yourself. Grrrr. Huh? What's that sound? He wants to fight us. He has a familiar that he wants us to fight. He wants us to fight a fucking dragon. I surrender. <laughs> I quit. I surrender. He has a fucking dragon. The red dragon. The scarlet sentinel. Yeah, I give up. <laughs> I thought he was about to bring in like some sort of like water thing or just like a small familiar. The man just summoned a freaking dragon. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Dragon versus Griffin. Let's see who wins. Okay, I'm guessing you're probably... Uh oh You're probably not one for water, so let's see how much Snowstorm does to you. 150. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Did he just up his defense? Uh oh Yeah, let's attack him from behind. 106. 110. Not bad. Not bad at all. Dragon Breath. Is this one I need to defend, or is this one where I can just... Uh-oh. Stoop! Mighty! Thirty-two, thirty-seven. At least Mighty does some decent damage here. Cancel! That's what I'm talking about. Frank, I'll never see a dragon this big before, man. The flipping thing looks proper vicious. Our only hope is poison, all I buy. Dragons hate this stuff. See, wait till Gar is down, then have Swain shoot the blighter full of raw muck, ain't it? Wait, hold on! Oliver has poison! Oh no, we have ability that cures poison! Whoops. Okay, well then, it's a good thing we have, uh... A Swain. As long as he stays alive. 
But we're doing decent damage. Even Mighty is actually doing pretty decent damage here. Probably because it seems that his physical attack actually does more damage than his normal attack. Dang! Even Mighty is doing good at canceling, too. Uh, let's go to Oliver and start healing our team up a bit, though. Esper is dead! That is not good. Esper is dead. Swain, let me... Rock shot. Come on, poison him. Shoot! No effect! What do you mean? Rock shot, come on. What do you mean no effect? He said use poison. I'm using poison. Oliver's dead. Okay, yeah, poison's not working. Mr. Trippy just almost got us all killed here. Oliver. If anyone can actually help take him down, it's Oliver. Come on. Yeah, heal yourself. That fire stream attack is... Absolutely insane. Okay, let me bring out Griffles. Let me do a psych up. Come on, he's almost dead. There we go. Down with the dragon. Yeah, that fire stream attack just one hit KO'd Oliver and Esper. And what was Mr. Trippy's advice? Or use poison. We use poison. It had no effect. Bunch of help he was. A dang, a thousand XP. Jeez. And two thousand gold. Nice. Everyone's all up here. Griffles, level 14. Gemma, all the way to 16. That's for 35. Go, go to 16. Short circuit. Ooh, new building. Oh, Ray's metamorphable now. So skinny. Nice, nice, nice. Scully, anyone else? Good, good, good. We got a lot of upgrading to do now. Well, now, there's not many faces the old girl's breath and come away on un unsinged lad. You're a plucky one and and make no, and no mistake. I keep on trying to say make no mistake. What? Why do you set her on us if you knew she was that dangerous? Yeah, ma, what are you doing calling in a massive great big dragon all of a sudden like that? I nearly flip and wet myself. Silence, dogs. Lots of questions here. The wand, where did you get it? What does it matter to you? We won't let you have it, no matter what you do to us. It matters to me, girl, because the accursed thing's not supposed to exist. The queen must hear of this. What queen? Never you mind now. Follow me the maps aft in my cabin. Oh, that's not good. He's working for... Uh, I'm guessing the white witch is the queen. All right, grumpy guts. We're still the good guys, right? Only ask because the king's sky prince appears to like us. <laughs> You're kidding, ain't you? We did, Oliver. Let's go and look at that map. Nah, I don't trust it. Worm's wing for. Move your scurvy carcasses. Nah, he's working for the queen. I'm guessing it's the white witch. Okay, so it tells the location of one stone. This is what you came here for, the map of the stones. This here X marks where stone must be hidden. A remote island. Makes sense, I suppose. Well, what are we waiting for? We got a ship. Let's sit, sail, and find him. Pipe down, girl. Do you think the boat of those seafaring simpletons could reach there even if the mighty iron wyvern could not go? What the flip are you on about? It's a sight more complicated than that. The wyvern here is too large to land on Solitary Isle, and the seas around that Ron little rock are riddled with reefs. Jeepers, so we can't get to the stones? Don't start sniveling just yet, lad. There's a way there, alright? On the back of Tingri. Winged dragon and master of the skies. None flies faster or higher than the pride of my pack of wild worms. Crikey, there's impressive sounding. Come on, Ven. Where is this Tingri? Well, not fair. There's a rub. Tingri has been struck down with the dreaded Lurgy and flies no longer. Lurgy? You mean he's sick? God, nothing's ever easy, is it? Uh, don't speak too soon. We have a mighty wizard Oliver on our side, after all. Huh? You mean to heal him? Well, I can't promise anything, but it's worth a try, I reckon. Oh, boy, he's got a spell or two up his sleeve that might get your dragon friend back on the wing. 
Yes, we must have someone I'll work all over. Let's go meet this dragon, shall we? Sure, where can we find Tingri, Captain Kublai? Now that the great lumpy cowering in a corner of the cave somewhere feeling sorry for himself, see what you can do. Thanks, come on everyone, we have a dragon to save. Hope we can help him. Does that mean we'll get to have the dragon as a familiar? Because if so, that'd be pretty cool. You would love nothing more than a charity case, do you? Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so... First off, we have a lot of familiars to level up now. I'm still waiting until Mighty's level 37, then... When he gets sliced and ice, then I'll change him. As for Ray, Ray has all of his abilities, so we'll go ahead and metamorph him. Uh, we'll wait till Skinny's level 27 and gets Bubble Bath before we change you. So we'll go ahead and metamorph uh, Ray. Let's see, you are Moon? Yeah, you're a Moon Drop. Okay, let's see, we have. Grim Ray, who looks really cool in that photo. And then Spring Ray. Spring Ray has Snowstorm, Slowpoke, another water, and a random other move. Oh, but this one has other moves. Black Blast, Hocus Focus, and two others. Let's try out Grim Ray. Plus, he looks kind of cool in that photo. How's the stats? Not too much of a difference. Let's do Grim Ray. Let's see what Grim Ray looks like. Oh yeah, that's cool looking. There we go. And as for your abilities, yeah, you just gained a new one, so let's go and give you Bulb Bath for now. We'll probably get you some of these other ones, Black Blast, and then these two unknowns just yet. <coughs> Excuse me. And I see Tingri over there. A little dragon over there. Uh, let's go save over here first after that fight with the dragon. There we go. Let's see what we can do to help out the dragon. I and mean, we got a few things that might be able to help. Right, this dragon looks like he'd lose a fight with a fly, man. I like that one we just fought. Proper feisty he was. Well, he is sick, Mr. Drippy. What's up with you, Ventini boy? Ring rot, is it? Touch of a horn ache? Yeah. Come on, man. We can't help you if you just stand there groaning like that. I guess he's trying to say something to us. Do you know dragon? You sure, I boy? Well, if you say so, I'll let's have a listen, then. Oh, you mean? What the heck, man? Look lively, will you? How many animals have you spoke to now? You still don't know what to do? Cast that spell ain't. Yeah, he's talking about nature's tongue. I did know, I was just going to say that. Nature's tongue. Hello, Tinkri, want to talk with you, if that's okay. Yeah, we heard you're a bit poorly, ain't it? Tell us what's up, man. Maybe we can help, like. Look, he's scared, aren't you, Tinkri? Poor thing, very, very, won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. You want to fly again, don't you, Tinkri? Why don't you tell us what's wrong? All right. Go on. I feel strange. There's a me who isn't me. The hell does that mean? Another me, and he's sick, so I can't fly. Another Tingri. Do you think he means... Of course, he's got a soulmate over in Ollie's world, ain't it? You mean back in Motorville? Like Myrtle and I? But Tingri is a dragon. That happens too, eh, Olive Boy? We've seen people with animals for soulmates before, ain't it? I mean, like Timmy and King Tom. Oh, that that's true. Sure, yeah. Exactly, I reckon Tingri's super sensitive animal mind means he can tell what's going on with his soulmate over by there. But what would his soulmate be? I mean, the world doesn't exactly have dragons, maybe a bird of some kind? What are you a lot talking about? I don't understand a word you're saying. I really can't be bothered to explain to you now. I'll tell you afterwards, alright? Tingri, the other you is sick in his heart. Do you understand? In his heart? Yes, but don't worry, we're going to make him better. So you'll be able to fly again soon. Really? Really, really. And when you can fly again, do you think you can might let us ride on your back? Uh, yes, alright, I'll let you. Thank you so much, Tingri. We'll help you, I promise. Gee, yes, for was amazing. It was, eh? I got so used to that girl, I clean forgot she had such a wave of animals. Suppose she is a familiar keeper after all. <laughs> Tingri's not familiar, silly. No, he's not much of a dragon either, the massive wimp. You'd be wimp too if your soulmate was sick, or if you'd gone what it's like to be attacked by Shadar. No, and I won't forget in a hurry either. Hang about. How come she never stepped in like that when we had to fight that flippin' red dragon? I'm sure we could do something to help Tingri. Come on, let's go tell Captain Kublai. 
I'll leave for now. Don't want to stir up trouble. Okay, well, let's talk to the captain, then find out what the dragon's soulmate is, because... Well, I mean, Alvar's world doesn't exactly have dragons, so... Uh, maybe a bird or something? Well, did you discover what has made a mouse of my once mighty dragon? Well, I've got an idea, yeah. Your advanced years to find a cure, fairy. I should look forward to seeing it. And so you don't get yourselves killed in the meantime, have this. Jumbo Sun Drop, nice! It's one of those treats that make familiars meta, 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 meta a change? That is, boy, I couldn't help but notice you using familiars when you were fighting. What a scurvy bunch of scrags they were. This little wonder old Red almost cooked you. Now, if one of your familiars had eaten that drop I just gave you and reached the final stage of development, you'd have beaten her easily. I mean, a lot of our familiars have already reached their final stage of development. And we've already gotten quite a few of the Jumbo Stones because of... Actually, we got them because the freaking uh, guy at the Familiar Reserves. When we talked to him first time, he just gave us a bunch of Jumbo Drops right then and there. It was right after the Time Trials. I mean, after the uh, Temple Trials. Hang on, man. I thought we did beat her easily. I mean, I hardly broke a sweat. Look, Mr. Drippy. Thank you, Captain Kublai. I haven't finished, boy. Every creature turns to one of two different types at a final stage of development. We know this already. We've already experienced it. Again, I've already been given the Jumbo Drops after we got done with the fight after the Temple of Time. I mean, Temple of Trials. It's up to you to choose the one you want. Got all that? Good. If you any sense, you'll use as many of these drops you can find. If you can't find any, make your own. I can make more! Okay, that's going to be helpful. Cheating up formula, form, formula? Thanks. Alright, Van Alley Boy, drops and familiars are all very interesting, but certain old Tinkery out our top priority, ain't it? Yeah, you're right. You need to head over to Motorville and find Tinkery's soulmates. Well then, time for Gateway! It's been a while since we last went to Motorville, so it'll be a fun little adventure. Because it has been a good minute since we were last there. I seem to recall you telling us the mighty Moonstar was no more, and yet somehow the boy managed to acquire it. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadar? What you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the wand, that the boy might never wield its power. But I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. That reminds me, Lord Garrus. You have used that spell. The one that oh. might pass, present, and future. It's Surely you! Not. Surely you did not meet with this savior in the past. <laughs> the very thought. What would I stand to gain from No, no, you're the one we saw. Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is Shadar who has been charged with the boy's disposal. Your excellencies. There is no cause for alarm. There's a lot of cars, cause for alarm. In hand, I assure you. I am the executor charged with bringing destruction to this world, and I fully intend to fulfill my duties. In any event, the one he holds is incomplete. Yeah, you. The You're the one who talked to us. So are you, like, evil now or something? Weak. Set against the might of our own ones, it is a mere toy. It seems you are quite the expert. They are lost, are they not? The stones from which Mornstar's magic powers sprang. Correct. The magic stones are lost, but the boy is searching for them now. Of that I have no doubt. And how are we to stop him finding them? When the Wizard King concealed them long ago, he entrusted their care to three fearsome guardians. Three bosses, good to know. that we awaken the keepers of the stones from their slumber. Does this plan please you, your radiance? It does. Listen to me well, Shadar. The keepers of the stones shall henceforth answer to you. I am... honored. Use your new powers wisely. The Wizard King's most faithful servants are now. Okay, now we're back in Motorville, but yeah, that's him. That's the guy we kept that uh, gave us the wand. So is he good or is he actually bad? Don't know. Righty ho, Ollie boy. Do you find Tingri's soulmate, Van Ant? Do you think anyone who reminds you of a massive flying dragon? You mean uh, somebody dragon like? 
Come on, Mon, you know you weren't in town, don't you? If you can't think of who it might be, just ask around, ain't it? Ask who? Myrtle? Oh, well, yeah, there's Myrtle. Hey, Myrtle. It's been a minute. Oh, hi, Oliver. Hey, Myrtle. Long time no see. How's it been working for Miss, uh, uh, is it Leela or Layla? Layla. I love it. I'm getting better all the time. I know names of price of anything in the store now. Very impressive, young lady. I'm Swain, by the way. Don't really like to talk about it, but I've made it my best to protect these poor kids here. What do you call the guardian? And you know she can't hear you, don't you? You, what? <laughs> People from this world can't see or hear us, silly. This girl's my soulmate, can't you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can now that you mention it. Yeah, my villagers like each other, ain't it? They don't act the same, mind. Thank goodness for that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oliver, can you hear voices? Nope. No, I can't hear them. Hmm, weird. Hey, wanna know what they call me around town these days? People start calling me the Dairy Fairy. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, but I kind of like it. The Dairy Fairy. Nito, that's so great, Myrtle. I can't believe how much things have changed for you. You mean now they don't call me Starry Mary anymore? Yeah, I guess things have changed. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me this dog is frickin' <laughs> is Tingri. Where's a mad dog on the loose? Strange, I feel like a gnome from somewhere. Isn't he sweet, though? Are you gonna tell me the dog is Tingri? Uh, no. Hey there, Genghis. Are you out on your own again, sweetie? Hey, this dog, it's... That's right, it's Dinny's dog. You know, Dinny lives next door to me. They're always out walking together. I guess I can't really call it walking as soon as school's out, the two of them go running off together all over town. But I haven't seen Dinny lately. Even though you live next door, that's weird. It is, huh? Well, you know when he leaves the house. I hear him laughing and hollering, at least. I did until recently. So maybe Dinny is a uh, Tingri. <sighs> Sorry, you mean he hasn't been going outside? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's like I was. Frankie, you mean now we've cured Starry Mary, we've got Glary... Gary, uh, carry to deal with instead. Typical. Clary, carry? Mr. Trippy! What my, I thought you couldn't flipping hear me. What are you getting so worked up about? I think he wants to tell us something. And Genghis, what could he want? Looks like another case of for the heroic wizard who can talk to animals. Don't make fun of him. Oliver, I know we're supposed to be looking for Tingri's soulmate, but please could we speak to Genghis? Sure, let's hear what he has to say. Just a second, Myrtle. He asks Genghis what's wrong. Uh, sure, how exactly? I, I mean, I need to see if he has any clues, you know? Me and Dinny's pet and all. Shut up, man, you're making it worse. <laughs> it can be awfully strange sometimes, Oliver. Anyway, I have to open his door. I'll see you around, okay? See ya, Myrtle. Okay, uh, nature's tongue. There we go. Grr, why won't you listen to me? How many times do I have to tell you my master, he's in trouble? Blimey, sound serious. Uh, you're listening now, are you? And you can see us. Sure I can, you're not exactly easy to miss. How come you suddenly started listening? Of course you can see us, because animals are all sensitive and that, ain't it? Uh, we were listening, dog face. We just couldn't stand until Ollie Boy cast a spell, ain't it? Grr. Well, you seem so upset. We had to find a way just to speak to you. There's something you want to tell us, is there, Genghis, sweetie? Sweetie? Oh, sorry, I make Mr. Genghis, sir. Stupid humans. Anyway, I'll tell you again. My master, Dinny, is, in, is the greatest athlete this town has ever seen. I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. You can call me Genghis. I could swear I know someone who talks just like you. Who? Oh, is it supposed to be Kublai? Wait, hold on. Is Kublai the dog's soulmate? Hold on, is that, is that it? <laughs> I'm just thinking the same thing. In fact... Doesn't Genghis kind of look somebody we know too? It's Mr. Genghis Oliver, but yes, I have the same feeling. Who the flip could it be now? It's the captain, isn't it? Kublai, I called it! How could we not spot it? Just look at his expression. <laughs> could be old pirate faces head on another body. No, look at it properly. Very sharp to either of you, Ollie boy. He just talks like him too. Kind of rough. It's funny, huh? Over in your world, Kublai keeps dragons, but here, he's somebody's pet. Hey, do you think... What mod spit out? Tingri's soulmate, could it be Denny? What makes you say that? Does he look like a dragon or something? Uh, I get you, Kublai and Tingri are proper close, ain't it? So it makes sense Genghis here would be close with Tingri's soulmate too. Exactly. Excuse me. But now I mean Kublai's pet in our world is his master in this one. The old switcheroo, eh? Classic stuff. 
Stop yapping, listen to me, will you? Oh, sorry, Mr. Genghis, sir. Are you listening now? Good, until recently, my master and I spent all our time training. You did, huh? I used to see you running around town all the time. Well, of course you did. We were working for our dream, for my master's dream of making the state championship. You were hap uh, helping him train? I just said that, didn't I? Anyway, he didn't make the track team. Nobody ever said life was easy, after all. Tell me about it. But he didn't give up. Not my master. He just trained harder than ever. That's a spirit vest, which just I imagined someone with a friend like you would do. But then it happened. Maybe he trained too hard. Maybe I didn't look after him well enough. He went and got himself injured, did he? Is that why he's not he's not been out and about lately? I didn't think it was anything serious. I thought he would be fine. By the time I noticed, it was too late. So that's what behind it all, eh? He lost his confidence. He was so convinced he would make the team next time. Then suddenly he was different. Hey, I bet he's heartbroken and probably nightmare too. Could be, Ollie boy. Could well be. That explains why Tingri can't fly too, huh? Then we have to help him. Mr. Genghis, sir, can you take us to your master? You think you can fix him? Fools! He's seen all the best doctors and couldn't help. What makes you so special? Magic. It's nothing a doctor can fix him on. It's his heart. See, it's broken. We just have to specialize in mending broken hearts. Mr. Genghis, sir, you have to trust us. I think we can help Denny. Eh, fine. But if you hurt him, I'll bury your bones in our back garden. You know our house, don't you? I'll wait for you there. Same old story, eh? Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in Kublai owing us one in this world as well. You're still here, Oliver. Did Genghis give you any clues? You sure did. It's bad news, Myrtle. Denny's hurt. He is? Oh, that's terrible. I had no idea. Wait, did you really talk to Genghis? No, I just figured out. And it's worse than that. I think his heart may be broken, too. I have to help him. I have to mend him. Sorry, Myrtle. You have no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Maybe not, but I believe in you. You used magic to heal me, didn't you? Yes. Hey, Oliver, can I come with you? Denny and I were good friends once. And when I couldn't go outside, you helped me so much. Maybe I can help you this time. Gee, Myrtle, thank you. That's okay. Myrtle joins the group. She's a nice girl, eh? Of course she is. She's my soulmate. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Just no response. Come on, Myrtle. Come on, Myrtle Turtle. Uh, okay, so Denny's down here. Okay, through here. Oh, wait, nope. Down this way. I wonder if there's any treasure chests we might be trying to find also in Motorville. I didn't even think about that. We haven't really spent that much time in Motorville since the very beginning of the game. We spent all our time in the other world. Yep, and this looks like Denny's house. Let's go in. In the next video. Because I think now is actually a good place to go ahead and stop in this video here before we get too far into it. Because I'm guessing once we help cure Denny, it's probably going to end up with a fight against a nightmare. Just like with Myrtle's father. So I think this is a good place to go ahead and stop in this for now. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.